Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Red Arcane deck from Illusionist.com. Uh, what is Red Arcanes? Uh, the Arcane deck is one of the series uh, that Illusionist has put out. They are released in a few different colors. Originally, when Illusionist released this, uh, they didn't actually release it as a deck. They released it as an uncut sheet. And so the uncut sheet was so popular, um, people asked if Illusionist would actually print it in deck form. And so this is the deck form of that. Uh, they were pretty rare, kind of hard to find uh, when they first came out. There was only 5,000 released, but currently right now on Illusionist, uh, you can buy the uncut sheet for about $7 and you can buy the deck for about 15 The front of the tuck case is really haunting, as is the entire deck. It's done in all these uh, glyphs and uh, very spiritual, very esoteric imagery. The spade pip on the front here seems to be made out of wrapped paper and it says arcane playing cards down here at the bottom. And then as the tuck case turns, it has these kind of banners, uh, like I was saying, with like these glyphs uh, in them. And then because it's the red deck, you have a lot of this red coloring as really your only accent color, uh, both on the tuck case and in the cards. The top of the tuck case is completely blank. The bottom has some ad copy about illusionist.com. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on a retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below on the description. Now, these cards actually have a chemical smell to them, which is indicative of uh, magic finish or performance coating. And so sometimes illusionists will put magic finish on these decks to protect the artwork, being that there's so much ink saturation on the front and the back. You'll notice that the back is an all black and the front is all black. And so when you have black on black on both sides, um, you'll get chipping sometimes. And chipping, what that is, is the edges will get um, white, the black will fleck off. And so uh, Illusionist is famous for putting magic finish on some of these cards to protect the art, for one, and then to also help the cards glide and perform a little better uh, when there's so much ink on the paper. So it's very possible that these do have magic finish. As far as the feel goes, how thick they are, um, people always ask how the cards perform or how they handle. Um, you can always click the link below in the description. It'll take you to a website that'll um, kind of show you kind of like on a scale about where they fall, where they balance. Um, I found that these cards, when you measure them, they're about middle of the road deck. They're not thick like a casino deck. They're not soft uh, like a buttery, you know, fresh out of the box deck. Uh, they are about the same as a standard deck of tally hose. So that's where they measure, about the same as the standard deck of tallies. The back design of the cards is the same as the back design of the tuck case, and it is that arcane uh, design. You'll see that you really only have the one color, the red, there in the center. Uh, these cards were designed by Lee McKenzie, uh, who was a former artist down at illusionist.com, and the deck really is done in his very uh, crazy style. With this deck, you'll get two extra cards. Uh, you'll get a double backer, which is great for magic tricks, and you'll get an illusionist ad card. Also with this deck are the famous Arcane Jokers. It's some sort of like spirit girl crawling across the floor coming to get you. <laughs> On one card, it does say Arcane, and then the other card, it has a mysterious card reveal. Ooh. The pips and indices are pretty standard for the most part. Lee McKenzie is kind of famous for making pips just a little fatter than uh, we're normally used to. The deck is black on black, so it has a black face. So none of the cards um, have black pips. So all the pips in this deck are red, whether it's a black suit or a red suit. So all the pips are red. The only indicator that there is any difference is the indice in the corner. So the indice in the corner for the black suits are white, all right? The court cards for Red Arcane are going to be completely standard, however, they've all been turned into these haunting uh, ghost ethereal images. They have like a smoke mist around each of them, uh, and they're all kind of whited out, very, um, very spiritual looking. And then you'll notice that the only color, again, the accent color, is red. And if you'd like to purchase this deck, it's available right now at illusionist.com. All right, so that is my review for the Red Arcane deck from illusionist.com, illustrated by Lee McKenzie. As always, recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you'd like more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.